In this video, I would like to encourage you to find ways to work non-destructively in Illustrator. In this first example, I would like to explore ways of combining shapes. So we have three identical pairs of shapes. I'm going to select the first pair, grab the Shape Builder tool, click and drag over them, and they are nicely combined like so. Grabbing the Selection tool, let's select the second pair of shapes. Up here in the Pathfinder panel, the first option here is Unite. I'll click on that button just now. Again, nicely combined shapes. But here's the problem, right? We have truly combined these shapes together. So what were two shapes are now one. So of course, if we grab the Direct Selection tool, if I move these individual corners, we can see those shapes have indeed been nicely combined. But of course, making tweaks to our design could be tricky, having now combined these shapes permanently. So let's undo a couple of steps just here. And let's see if we can't combine the shapes in our third pair non-destructively. So grabbing my selection tool, selecting the last pair. Again, back in the Pathfinder panel, if I hover over the Unite button, it's telling me that if I hold down the Alt or the Option key and click on Unite, I can actually create what's called a compound shape. So let's do that just now, holding down Alt or Option, clicking on Unite. Now if I click away, this looks identical to these other ones, but you can see when I hover over it, the individual elements are still retained. So if I went and say grab the Direct Selection tool, I can see that these can still be moved like so. So this is a fantastic way to non-destructively combine shapes in Illustrator. Now guys, there will be times when you need to truly expand the appearance of shapes like this. In other words, properly mush them together. But again, let me give you a couple of tips on how best to do that. So before we do this, let's actually make a copy. So grabbing the selection tool, I'll hold down Alter Option. I can drag out a copy like so. And I'll actually pop that off to the side of the artboard. Just in case I truly mess this up, I can easily go and grab the originals just out here. So let's click on this, and let's actually properly expand this artwork. And we do that by coming back to the Pathfinder panel and clicking on the Expand button. What were two shapes are now truly a single shape, and I can prove that by grabbing the Direct Selection tool, and again grabbing that corner just there, you can see, truly mushed together like so. Okay, so that was combining shapes non-destructively. Let's have a look at a second example. In this example, I would like to talk about offsetting paths. So I have two identical shapes just here. Select the first one, and let's go up to Object, Path, Offset Path. I'm liking 30 pixels, let's choose OK. Now what Illustrator's done here is, here's my original just here, so at the very least, we should tuck that off to the side just in case we need it later but it's offset the path by 30 pixels and created this new version just here. Now this is great, but of course, what if we change our mind later and we don't want 30 pixels, we want to say 50 pixels. Well, we would have to go and repeat that whole process with the original. So let's see if we can't do this in a non-destructive way. So let's click on the second example just here and let's go up to Effect, Path, Offset Path. Let's set that to 30 pixels, choosing OK. Now if I click away, these two do look identical, but you can see when I hover over the second example, we can still see the outline of the original artwork just there. So when I click on this and select it, check out the appearance panel. We have an entry here for offset path. I can turn its visibility off and on. If I really hate this look, I can just throw it away altogether. Let me undo that because the most powerful part of this whole thing, guys, is I can actually just click on Offset Path and make a change. So now if I do want that 50 instead of 30, I can just make the change here, choose OK, and there's the result just there. Now, like I showed you in the other file, guys, there will be times when you will need to expand your artwork. So again, before we do that, let's make a copy. So using the Selection tool, holding down Alter Option, I can drag out a copy like so, 
And again, let's tuck that off to the side. Clicking on my artwork just here that I now want to expand. Let's go up to Object, Expand Appearance. And we can see that original artwork is now gone and we are left with that final expanded look. So I'm going to wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that gives you some good ideas on how you can be better working non-destructively here inside of Illustrator. I hope that helps. Catch you later.